Hi, this is Sasha Segan from PCMag.com, helping to clear up the confusion between CDMA and GSM. If you're shopping for a mobile phone or a carrier, you've probably run into the acronyms CDMA and GSM. These are two competing, incompatible cell phone systems, and which one your carrier uses can affect your phone choices. AT&T and T-Mobile are GSM. Sprint and Verizon are CDMA. GSM networks and phones like this T-Mobile phone use removable SIM cards to store their subscriber data. CDMA phones, like this Sprint phone, don't. No SIM card. They verify all of their phones against a list on the network side. That means you can buy unlocked, third-party, or used phones for GSM carriers and just swap the SIM card in. You can't do that as broadly on CDMA carriers. Sprint and Verizon will only accept their own phones, which they've pre-approved. There's no such thing as an unlocked phone on CDMA. But wait! This Sprint phone has a SIM card slot. Why is that? Well, it turns out that SIM cards are also part of the new 4G LTE standard that all the carriers are using. But because Sprint is still a CDMA carrier, it's still authenticating every phone against its network list to make phone calls. So you still can't use a Verizon phone on Sprint or vice versa, even if they're LTE phones because of the CDMA part. Most CDMA networks also can't do voice and data at the same time. 3G GSM devices can. Interestingly, that's an option on CDMA systems, it's just that Verizon and Sprint have unfortunately mostly ignored it. So why did so many US carriers go with CDMA? And how are the technologies actually different? Take a look at our full explanation in our article on PCMag.com.